The smells and the sounds and the heat, they are really overwhelming. You don't get used to it, but you just have to get past it. Yeah, you definitely have to detach and just keep focused on what you're seeing in that moment. You look them in the eyes and just hear the sounds that they're making. It's, it's not normal animal sounds. You can tell they're in distress. Once you've seen their eyes and their pain and, and their suffering, you just can't look away. They deserve to be seen. I have one child, and if I'm going to be going out on an investigation, I will put them to bed beforehand. And um, I won't say that I'm going out because I don't want them to worry. They would probably wake up in the night, try to come and look for me. The first time going in was very warm. It was uh, the sound of metal, the crates, when the mothers try to stand up. Um, the sounds of the piglets squealing. Lots of piglets die. You see fear in their eyes. You see sadness, confusion. There have been individuals that have stuck with me. But then you do another investigation and there'll be another individual and then there'll be another individual that's suffering and there's just so many, I think. Yeah, so many. We have to learn, learn everything. The layout of the farm and the schedule of the farmers and um, access. And then it's also what, what state are those animals going to be in? Uh, what are we gonna come across? I work with Sarah. She has certain strengths and I have certain strengths and we both have weaknesses, but they work really well together. It's been great having someone there who you can trust 100%. Someone who you can talk things over with, someone who you can share your emotions with, someone who just gets it. It really helps having that friendship. You can rely on that person, knowing that you've got somebody there watching your back, somebody you trust fully. It just really halves the load. When you see investigations, you think that's possibly one bad place. And then you see the next place and you think, okay, that's another bad place. And then every place you go into, you think, Every place is bad. There's no good place. Sometimes I'll just sit with an animal and stroke them, and, and I'll get lost in that sometimes. You just want to give them a little something. I think most people think that investigators are men. I mean, I know I surely did before. So I don't think being a woman hinders being an investigator. I think it comes down to you as an individual. You probably can do more than you think you can. Honestly, I remember seeing investigations and thinking, I don't know how people, how could somebody detach themselves and see that in the flesh? And I never thought I could do that. Some of my closest friends and family don't know that I do this. It's quite hard, feeling like you can't talk about it with people. It feels kind of like a lie, not telling them, but one day I, I will tell my child what I do. I know that they will understand and be happy that mommy is doing what she's doing. definitely times when you feel helpless just how is this happening no being should be in that position they can't go through that for nothing 
people need to see it. There might be a chance that it can help. <laughs> 